who we now know who will replace outgoing Supreme Court Justice Bridget McCormick. And the woman Governor Whitmer picked is making history for our state. Political reporter Rick Albans in studio tonight introducing us to her. Rick. Brian and Michelle, you might remember seeing Kyra uh, Harris Bolden's name on the ballot. She ran for Supreme Court justice in this month's election, but she finished third to incumbents uh, Brian Zara and Richard Bernstein. But Bolden will end up on the uh, bench after all. As you said, Governor Whitmer appointed her today. She's the first black woman to sit on our state's highest court. 34 year old is a state representative from the Detroit area. She'll take the bench in January after her term in the House expires. Justice Elizabeth McCormick announced in September that she was stepping down. She was Chief Justice until this week when the court chose Elizabeth Clement to take over. Bolden talked about when her, uh, what inspired her to pursue a career in justice. In 1939, my great-grandfather, Jesse Lee Bond, was lynched in Tennessee after simply asking the store owner for a receipt, and he was 20 years old. His brutal murder was ruled an accidental drowning. That contract of public service was not granted to my great-grandfather. In the case of Jesse Lee Bond, the judiciary's oath to the people was broken. The promise to selfishly serve was cast aside, and the commitment to pursue justice was not followed. This is the reason why I set myself on the path to public service. My commitment to the pursuit of justice is inherent in me and my family because we know injustice. In just a few generations, our family has gone from lynching to law school, from injustice to a capital J justice. This is the greatness and possibility of our country. Bolden worked in civil rights litigation before she was elected to the House in 2018. She also worked for a Wayne County judge and was a court-appointed defense attorney in Southfield's court. If she wants to have an entire term, she'll have to, to that would go through 2028. She'll have to run in 2024's election. Back to you.